Hey what is up guys, it's True Power Chat here and today we're going to be doing a brand new series to do with Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Um, yeah, let me know about um, what you guys think about this little template I've got going. I kind of slapped it together with some files I already had, but I think it looks alright, it gets the job done. And I kind of was not able to properly set up the um, two screens, but that's just because uh, it feels bad man and yeah. Anyway, um, if you guys remember in the Sun and Moon Thoughts video I did, there was a lot of glitches with the screen and I've uh, deducted that it was actually the cord that I was using for my capture card. So I bought a new cord and so far with what I've been testing it looks great and it feels great too. Like no um, jitters in that. And uh, yeah, so essentially what we're going to be doing in this series, we're going to be doing some battle spot Wi-Fi battles. Now um, basically what battle spot is pretty much the best way to play against people online. And we're gonna, I'm just going to show you guys my team real quickly. So we've got a Greninja, Tapu Koko, Raichu, Lynorok, Incineroar, and Komono-O. Uh, these are all EV trained Pokemon. Now, unfortunately, I have not been able to properly train the IVs, and uh, because I'm a nub, I kind of, I don't know how, but with Greninja, I kind of screwed up its EV spread. Like, somehow it's got half attack and half special attack, when it's all only meant to be max special attack. This makes Greninja super bad, because there's been so many times where I've used a certain move, and they've lived like on zero, like literally the slither of health, and it's like, um, okay, can't really do much about it. But, um, yeah, that's Greninja. Um, and this is all legit, by the way. This is all no hacks used. This is all me going out of my way to train these guys up. Uh, yeah, next we have Tapu Koko, who has, um, this Pokemon's so good. It's from just tons of damage, got that max attack uh, investment, 225 attack. This Pokemon is so good, it does too much damage, it's illegal how much damage it does. Uh, next we have uh, Raichu, because we're going to be doing some double battles today. This is meant to be a single battle team, but it's going to be doubles, because YOLO. Because <laughs> battles, honestly, I have a lot more fun with double battles, but um, single battle 6v6 are also fun too, it's just that it's hard to find people who want to do that. But, yeah, so we're doing this cool life stuff instead. Um, yeah, so Raichu works super well with Tapu Koko, because essentially what Tapu Koko's ability Electric Surge does is it sets up Electric Terrain automatically, and what Surge Surfer does is that when Electric Terrain's in effect, it doubles the speed of that Pokemon, which makes it, it's got 154 speeds, so that brings it to three, um, 308, which is stupidly fast, it's even faster than, like, Tapu Koko and Greninja's, like, when, um, Greninja uses his Battle Bomb ability to become Ash Greninja, it's even faster than that, which is pretty good. Um, next we've got a Linerock. Uh, this is this is a, intended for a single battles, which would be like a suicide lead, but whatever. Um, next we have Incineroar. Incineroar is, I reckon, the best starter out of the three. It gets a really good move coverage and it just does damage. I've uh, got Incineum Z, just because why not? <laughs> um, and then we've got um, Common... Common O, oh, I don't think I'm saying that properly, but... I uh, like it. Once again, this is a single battles intended team. I think I'm going to start EV training some double battles Pokemon slash catching that. And, um, yeah, like I said, this is meant for singles, so yeah. Not much to it. And anyway, guys, um, this is the team we're going to be using. Hopefully, I've had some battles on the battle spot where I've just simply just destroyed people just because they didn't have fully powered up teams. So it's like... Like, when I say fully powered up, I don't mean like the teams aren't level 50 and that, so... They're just literally just doing this for fun. And yeah, I had a lot of troubles with the first time recording this, so I'm happy that I've decided to scrap that and do another recording. And also, tell me what you guys think about seeing me. Because this is me here. Mr. True Parish had this guy. This guy right here. Um, I don't usually do this kind of setup, but I thought it'd be alright, since it's kind of live, and yeah. So if you guys like this one, I might use this setup in the future, because it's actually super easy to do, and it makes me look cool. So anyway, we're going to be doing free battles, I guess? Yeah, free battle, yeah. Alrighty. And check an SD card. Freeze up, double battle. We could do battle royales, but no. <laughs> I, I don't know what that means by special Pokemon band or allowed. Oh, that's my... Oh, dove. Yeah, so that, that was my in, my um, story mode team, the one that this is the team that's in our party. Alright, oh, I forgot to change the expert belt on off Greninja, and let's listen to, I guess we'll listen to the Battle Royale soundtrack. It's like, whatever. Yeah, searching for a opponent, and you guys can want to see me when I'm trolling. Hey, we found Saitama. I oh, know he's from Saitama. He's in Japanese anyway. Oh, this guy actually has a fully powered up team, that's pretty good. Um, I should be alright to just lead up with Raichu and Tapu Koko, just because he doesn't have any other, any Tapu Pokemon to get rid of that. Um, 
big threat I see is his, um, is his Garchomp, so I need Greninja for that, and I need something to deal with his Golos Pod, so I kind of force into Line Rock here. Uh, um, I really want Incineroar, well, I need something again to deal with Garchomp. I reckon this would be alright here. Yeah. Not too, too I'd highly is gonna bring his water types, honestly, because I just got destroyed by my combo. That Ultra Beast he has is stupidly broken. Plus he has Solgaleo. I'm not too worried about Solgaleo actually. I should be able to just destroy it. Let's see what happens here. I really should try and give some of these Pokemon Protect. Like I've got U-turn on um on top of Coco. I think I should replace that with Protect just because of um doubles format. Yeah. You are challenged by a Japanese Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Um, hopefully this goes well. He starts off with Gullabobs and Kelly Steel. Yeah, alrighty. Alrighty, Gullus Pod 100% is gonna, um, first impressions my right shoe, and that's just gonna delete me. Yeah, Electric Serve kicking. I'm actually so happy I went to the shop today and bought a new cord. <laughs> it's just, it's so much better. Alrighty, so we're gonna Wild Charge, uh, Gullus Pod. And we're gonna switch out right shoe for, um, Minor Rock, because first impressions is a powerful bug type. First bug type priority move, so I kind of don't want my Raichu getting one shot. But yeah. That's what I would do anyway. And as far as the um, other thing is concerned, I, I don't know what I would do. But Liner Rock should be able to... Yeah, first impressions. Yeah, see, I hold it. He, why wouldn't he? Like, that even did a sh just so much damage to Liner Rock. Anyway, anyway. That was resisted as well? I didn't think it was actually. I didn't come up with it. It was resisted. But anyway, top of Coco. Laying him down the smack, destroying that guy. Easy one shot. And then he's going for the heavy slam. It's probably going to be on top of Coco. It was still here. Yeah. I should be able to live it. Or not. Goodbye for a world. Alrighty, now that thing's out of the way. Um, he's boost. What did that boost? The attack rose already. Uh, we traded. We essentially traded one for one. He probably got the better end of the deal just because he got one of my guys pretty low. Um. I'm gonna bring out. Um, actually, I'm not gonna bring out Raichu just yet. I'm gonna bring out Greninja. Just because he still might have Garchomp. So if he sends out Garchomp, I'm pretty burned. Uh, we'll see what he does. Yes! Mind games with John. So I can just Ice Beam and one shot this guy. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Ice Beam. And we can also Fire Fang because I have that on my Rocket with Pain to Breed. And Kara still is like four. I'm pretty sure it's four times a week to it. Let's find out anyway. Let's see. Still flying. I don't think it is two times effective them. Alrighty, I don't mind if Liner Rock dies. It kind of sucks because it has a Focus Sash intended for single. This is actually my first time using Liner Rock. I usually don't carry it. don't usually bring it, but I really wanted to take care of um, that. I wanted to have something to resist Golos Pod. I guess I could have brought um, Common O, because that resists it too. Yeah. See, I got this guy good. He can't do shit because he needs his Garchomp. Yeah, damn, he did. He did actually withdraw it. What are you bringing? Greninja. Okay. Yeah, there's Greninja there. Ice Beam, yeah. Dude, just imagine if I just full on, like, a mind gamed him and then you turned that. Fire Fang. Damn. I did, like, no damage. You could drain. Oh, is he gonna use it on my game? Mm. Damn, that Pokemon's so tanky. Actually, stupidly tanky. I don't know. Alrighty. I don't think I can actually. Hmm, I'm gonna. Not in a winning position. Yeah, I don't really have root. I don't have good moves on Line Rock at all. Yeah. Yeah, I should have U-turned. Or the Shuriken. Yeah, that goes Line Rock. Yeah, rip, rip that guy. Nah, I lose. Because uh, he's just going to kill Greninja this turn. And, um... Ask for Ninja. Hmm. I should have gone for U-turn, actually. When he sent in Garchomp, because I knew he was going to send Garchomp in because he can't risk me sending in Alol Alol and Raichu because he's just going to shit in his team. Yeah. At least he took care. Actually, let's see. Let's see what happens here. I actually still might be able to win this because U-turn does force me to switch out, which means his Giga Drain will be hitting my full hit point Raichu. Actually, I think I can still win this, actually. Yeah. Ash Greninja. I can win this, because I don't I don't see Raichu I don't think Raichu will be getting one shot anyway. Is this the play? The U-turn one shot play? Because I accidentally invested so much attack. Giga Drain. It's not it's not stab and it, oh my god, I can win this. 
Is this the strats? Dude, I'm actually just so good at Pokemon, dude. Alrighty. Because Greninja... Ash Greninja is stupidly fast. Like, Ash Greninja is almost faster than Raichu. Oh my god. I think I won this. Dude, I think... Easy game! E oh my god. I'm actually so hyped because I thought I, I lost this one. We're gonna go for a Raichu Z move. That one... That should one-shot the... Kel Celeste Dealer because I'm a max special attack Raichu. On the electric terrain, plus it's my Z-move. I think I just won. Hey, we're going for that Z-move, boys. Let's go. <laughs> That's so troll. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the Volunteer Z. I was like... Oh, yes, that frame rate there. That's what I like to see. <laughs> that frame rate so garbage. Kill it with fire. Hey. Get one shot, boy. Get one. Oh my. The Z power. I can't even do it properly. I'm just that uncoordinated. The Z power. <laughs> Easy game. Easy life. We do the dab. <laughs> Dude, holy shit. I actually can't believe I won that. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's so chill. <laughs> I thought I fell almost. Dude, I calculated that U turn, dude. Damn, that, that's pretty lit, that one, that crap. <laughs> Should've brought that song out of yell, bro. <laughs> dude, that's what I mean, I'm just so good at this game. Alrighty, let's ask, oh, we will save that, because I need to show my friends how good I am. The clutch turnaround, dude, thinks he loses because Ultra Be that Ultra Beast is busted, but he secretly has the, uh, the Alolian Raichu, dude, the Z move, dude, no one expects the Z move, man. Z moves, I don't know man, I've got mixed feelings on Z moves, they're like, they're good, because they let you essentially just one shot anything, but like, it takes up an item slot, so you're trading an item that could give you more stats for one powerful move, so it's like, yeah, but I'm looking forward to when Rayquaza uh, is enabled, when Pokebanks up, when Rayquaza can trade over, because Rayquaza can Mega Evolve without an item, so I want to see Ray Mega Rayquaza use a Z move, that would be so sick. I reckon that'll be so good. Dragon, the um, supersonic strike, strike, supersonic sky strike. I think is the name of the um, flying Z move with Rayquaza's Dragon Ascent. Because I'm pretty sure that's flying type. That'll be sick. I'm just, I'm just waiting for that day, dude. Waiting for that Rayquaza come down, bringing the thunder. Yeah. Anyway, let's just take my look. Oh, come on, guys. How clutch? How clutch was that? I've, I even did the Z move for the thumbnail. The Z move. I, I'm gonna actually have fun editing that. It'll be so good about a green screen too, but I'm poor. I can't afford a green screen, I promise. Anyway, hopefully this takes some time. We get there. Get to the next battle. I'm gonna try and do two, maybe? I don't know. This is fun. This is fun though. I'm having a good time. Hopefully you guys are having a good time too. Seeing my beautiful face while we're in queue. Queue for a Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. The opposing trainer cannot be fine. Please try again. Like, seriously? Really? Really, game. Yeah, I'm really happy about a new code because this is working fantastically. Other than uh, the intense frame rate drop for when I use the the Z move. <laughs> now this combo is actually broken though. Like, it's essentially what do you want to call it? A drizzle kind of thing. Like, this is when you have like a Pokemon with drizzle and swift swim that kind of combo. But the thing that's really good is that. Because electrics are really good offensive typing, it just shits on a lot of things. Plus, um, you have two threats. Tapu Koko and Raichu, they're both extremely fast. Like, the fact that Tapu Koko gets, like, 269 base speed without, um, any, anything else. Just a max speed nature and blah, blah, blah. And Raichu only beats that because it doubles its average speed. That's stupid. Or something like that. That's really dumb. You just, you can essentially one-shot everything. Like, I grinded in the battle tree. I found a super easy way, I just used my Raichu and my, um, huh, error code. Really, I get disconnected. Alrighty, we'll get the battle for We'll try one more time. If not, I have to call this one. Oh, I didn't want to do rating. Oh, I didn't want to do rating. That's pretty awkward. Oh, even better, I need to sign up anyway. I think we'll, we'll do that eventually. Battle. 
Is it the battle spot? Spray battle, yes. Alright, this is good though. One last time, and then we're KMSing. KMS! Oh, he's our awesome team again. Now, Lineroak actually did alright. Like, actually, let's be serious. Lineroak didn't actually do anything besides be a death fodder. And we're able to one shot the Gullus pod with, um. Tapu Koko. We'll use uh, the totem Pokemon this time for the soundtrack. Let's see how long this takes, though. Because if this takes too long, we're uh, getting out of here now that I've uh, fickled with my hair. Hey, there we go. We found another Japanese. All the Japanese people did. Alright, does he have level 50s? He does. Alrighty, let's see his team. He's got Nekorizoma. He's got a bunch of Ultra Beasts again. Um, Raichu and Tapu Koko should be a fine lead again. He's got the water thing. And ice. Alrighty, I think I want to bring Incineroar. Do I need Greninja? No, not really. I don't really need... Hmm. He's got the dragon thing. Alright, you'll bring Commoner. Oh. Uh, now nah, I'm bringing Greninja just because I need some spe need more special attack. I think that's not bright, it doesn't really matter. I I'm, I love Greninja. <laughs> I can't. I was like, I must use Greninja. <laughs> What's that face? I did what what was that? That was disgusting. Anyway, well this totem Pokemon soundtrack. Alrighty. No troll, I promise. Alright, challenged by this man. I mean, this is my first time playing against uh, Necrozoma, but I know it's super tanky. Okay. Is there... Let's see. Should I try one-shot the Necrozoma? You turn super effective against... I, I think I'm just gonna try and um... Yeah, I'm gonna try one shot the Necrozoma. So I'm using both my moves on at this turn. Just cause I... Necrozoma is super tanky, so if I can kill that pretty early, that'd be great. But I don't think he would have made it a tank kind of thing. He's probably just like, oh dude, I just randomly did things and now I'm on battle spot. Crushing them. Alrighty. Oh yes! The... the oh! The <laughs> Zay move once more. <laughs> Alrighty. And <laughs> frame rate goes so shit when you use... What is this frame rate there? Anyway. Ah, well, there you go. I one shot the Necrozoma with a Alolan Raichu Z move. Spark Surfer. I'm gonna wild charge you. Look at that power. That was a resisted hit and almost one shot him. Dude, Life of Tapu Koko is broken. It's so much damage. Power Whip. I should be able to tank that dude. Yeah. That's what happens when you just bring Ultra Beasts. And <laughs> don't EV train your team blow. <laughs> dude, EV training makes such a huge difference. Like, honestly, it's so stupid. Lunala. Alrighty, Lunala's full hit point, so I'm gonna do that thing where I use both my attacks on it again. Actually, you know what I can do? Nah, I was gonna say I could roost to a thumb thing. But I shouldn't be dying at all, and there's no way that Lunala's outspeeding me. There's no chance. Just get some damage on it real quick. Oh wow, that actually took like no damage. Huh. Wow, it lived both of those, and Tapu Koko's gonna die to recoil. Huh. Wasn't actually expecting that. Jesus. All right, I'm pretty sure Raichu's just gonna die now. Too, because Raichu's right, not tanky. The only good thing is that both of them are really worse. I'm pretty sure Greninja and Incineroar can just come in and clean up through. That was super effective. Oh, it's a ghost type attack. Alrighty, it's ghost still. Yep. Watch me whip. Alrighty, now this looks bad, but you gotta keep in mind I've got two Pokemon left. He has three. My two are at full health. Only one of these is at full health. Alrighty, so we're gonna send in my last two, obviously, Incineroar and. Get Koga! Greninja, and then Incineroar. Alrighty. I know the type of the, um... Of, um... 
What do you know that ultra base he has? I don't even know what it's called. Oh, this way. It must be electric type because earthquake's super effective against him. That's fine. I'm gonna water shuriken Lunella just because I get that juicy priority. And it, it just allows me to get a free Ash Grid and just set up. That intense water shuriken damage, doing that 1% health it had left. And now, because our Bund are battling together, has powered up, we get Ash Greninja. This team is pretty shit for double battles, but like, yeah. Actually, I can't like Tapu Koko and Raichu have like hard carry me super hard. Oh, what? You, holy moly. Jeez, that almost. Alrighty, I got scared for a second, so that was not. Ex I didn't expect it. Actually, who am I kidding? Incineroar is so slow, so stupid. Anyway, it's his last. I'm pretty sure I won. Because, like, I wasn't actually expecting Raichu to one shot um, Necrozoma. And this thing, that's a dragon type. Um, That, like, resists. All of Incineroar's moves is Dragon Dark. I've got to go for Ice Beam with Greninja, and because we've got Expert Belt, that ups the damage even more. Yeah. I'm just going to go for Flare Blitz. I know it's not very effective, but like. I don't want to go for Earthquake because he might not go for Greninja. Yeah, thank that. It's not that bad, eh? Oh, we're faster then, okay. I don't see us losing unless he goes for like an earthquake or something. Oh wow, it lived? No. Hmm. Dragon Claw. Yeah, alrighty, we win. Nice. Because we're faster than him, so it's like, well, you got 10 hit points. Unless this boosts his speed. Alrighty. And the only way we would have lost is that if that m m ability of his boosted his speed, and then, um. Let's go for a Darkness Lariat. For the style points. Yeah. The only way we would have lost there is if he had um that move. Um no if that ability of his boost his speed and then he had like a super effective hit and just one shot us I think is very unlikely because my uh, Incineroar I um invested a bit in his health, so that just makes him generally tanky. That was um pretty easy. Easy win, easy money, easy dosh. So we're two and oh. It's uh, pretty good actually. That was a lot closer than the first one. Because we are uh, clutch the first one, and this one was pretty free, honestly. So free. Alrighty, we'll do one more, unless we don't find one more straight away. In that case, we're not doing this again. Alrighty, no, I don't want to say that one. That wasn't his clutch, that was calculated, that one. I don't need to clutch everything. I don't need to pull the clutch. Continue battling. Switch battle teams. Alrighty, and this music, what do you do? I did total break more. Enter the Ultra Beasts. Huh. Alright, we'll just do um Guardian Deity. Let's see how long it takes there. Hey, we're playing some German Fro. Flo. Alright, let's see what he has. That's just, that looks like just a story came out. There's no way he's bringing Wishy Washy. No chance. Doesn't have items on these things either. Alrighty. Uh, Tapu Koko and Raichu. Greninja and... I don't really need anything else. Oh, he's got Superior, huh? He must have found another catch up. So he's got three starters on his team. Hmm. I, I think we can just go for the same team, really. I don't see me losing, like, his team just doesn't look that good, honestly. Like, Greninja is not going to do anything, Greninja doesn't have any help. Um, and because he's got a top of Coco as well. We're going to, if his one, this is good for, like, checking out speed and that. Because if his one's ability, let's just pretend now he starts off with top of Coco. His top of Coco's ability, if it goes first, it shows that it's faster than me. So, uh, while if, uh, if I go first, it shows that I'm faster than him. That's if he starts with it, though. Is this the Battle Royale music? No, I didn't. I think I selected Guardian Deity. I can't remember, but I love this uh, frame rate, dude. This is pretty hectic, actually. I was not expecting this. Kind of a sick beat. 
So Galio and Greninja, well Greninja is just gonna die because I can actually just Thunderbolt one shot it. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wild shot oh actually No no no, I know that my that Greninja is not as fast as Top of Coco because I own a Greninja and that one's not as fast as Top of Coco. Wild charge into Greninja, and then we'll just use it. We'll use our um, Z move to one shot that Solgaleo. Essentially, if everything goes well, both of his Pokemon should be dead. Kind of sucks he doesn't have a ground type because ground type shut down this thing so hard. Like, because both my Pokemon would die to an earthquake that I start off with, and I don't have a flying type to um, make up for that weakness, or even a Pokemon will levitate. Yeah. He withdrew Greninja. Okay, if he wants to keep that alive. Superior. That's fine as well. I can just Brave Bird that next turn. But yeah. And also, I want to see. I'm curious to see how much damage that, um. <laughs> every time. <laughs> it's time for that intense frame rape drop. Here it is. Because this is a old 3DS. Like, the very first model of 3DS. <laughs> and, like, well. They probably made this for the new 3DS. And it's like, oh shit, we're gonna port this to the old one real quickly. <laughs> Yeah, that frame right there. When Raichu just one shot Sogalio, zero Fs were given this day. The power of Z, dude. The power of Z. Like, let's make it a 3v4 now, lol. I'll charge. Like, that half hit it, and that was a resisted hit, and I carry Brave Bird. So, uh, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I won this. He just, he's not actually gonna get to attack, because he's. I can guarantee the only Pokemon that will be dying in this game is Solgaleo. I mean, on my team, sorry. Is, uh, oh no, that changes things. I was just getting too cocky. Alrighty, um. Huh, alrighty. Hmm. Okay, uh, no, I think I should try. Feel superior. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, what I decided to do, I'm gonna Brave Bird Superior and then Psychic Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko was carrying out there. Yeah, that's some clean damage there. And, um, yeah, say goodbye to Superior. All that's left is Greninja. If Greninja, when Greninja comes in, I'm gonna, oh, co-it with, um, Raichu. But Tapu Koko is a bit of a problem there. Hmm. I should have, um, my Tapu Koko alive. Nature's alrighty. That's a horrible move. That just does 50% of my HP, so like that's fine. I'm gonna go down 35. That move's so garbage. Like it's cool that the Guardian DT's got their own exclusive move, but their move's a piece of shit. <laughs> like the Z move's okay, but the only problem with it is also it doesn't kill at all. Like most Z moves can one shot. That one just brings them down to 50. Anyway, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I, I win this turn. Like I can spray bird Tapu Koko. Wait, it wait. Hold up. Hit the B button. Hit it, resist Brave Bird. Alrighty. Actually, you know what I can do? Because Psychic did 50%. I'll just um, Wild Charge Greninja and we'll Psychic um, Top of Coco, and that's game. Like, I told you, the only one I was going to lose is Top of Coco, and that's legit only to read. Um, it's really cool. The only move he's gone for this game is Nature's Madness, and because that only does 50%. Like, that's something you kind of use on a tank, just to cheese it at the start. He, sh he could have just killed me with an attack, honestly. Like, I had 70 hit point, and he probably didn't have anything to hit me, actually. Like, you know, now that I think about it, still, that was, I don't, I don't like that move, I don't think it's good. Like, the only reason you'd run that move is so you can use the, um, Top of Coco Z move. It's still, like, it's not that good, well... Like, you can, in single battles, I see the Z move being good, because let's just pretend that, oh, you're up against a tank, full hit point, oh, you automatically do 75% hit point, it's like, ah, oh, lol, and then you just kill it with something else that can actually deal with it from such a low health, but, like, in that situation, when he half hit me from, like, 50%, it's like, um, he took me from half my health to a quarter, it's like, whatever, it kind of feels bad, man. What a sad note to end it, this one. We started, this is literally how it went. The best battle was the best, the first one was the best, second was the second best, and the third was the worst. But yes, um, that'll be all for today, guys. Really hope you enjoyed um, my live commentary and my thoughts about how I'm battling. It's like, oh, I'm doing this because it shits on them. <laughs> I'm never doing that face again. But anyway, guys, like I said, really hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you think. I'm probably going to be doing more of this. 
And yeah, until next time, this is... Oh yeah, also, if you want to um, battle me, I will... Um, I have a Discord server, I did make a video about it, but essentially it's just a way to chat to me. A lot of people have actually joined on, which I'm pretty happy about. And I uh, have had the chance to talk to me, so if you ever want to play me in Pokemon Sun, just jump on there if I'm on to say, Hey Shad, 1v1 me bro, you cheeky scrub. And if I'm at home at the time, I will destroy you in a one-on-one -on -one Pokemon battle. <laughs> anyway guys, that's all for today. This is True Pyro Shad, signing out. P -p -p Peace! And now, we awfully wait for me to actually end the video.